welcome back to our channel. So today we're here with another messy Monday. You guys already know what it is. It's Monday. It's time to start the fucking drama once less. Let's start it up. So I just want to jump into this by saying so much crazy shit happened this week. Like literally so much crazy shit. If you guys could get a messy Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, y'all would. But but it worked like that. <laughs> And I was like, oh my yeah. god, Kelsey, this shit. I was riding to work, and then as soon as I like opened up Instagram, boom. I fainted. I, I was like, oh, Rob Kardashian and Black China, bitch. First of all, Rob versus Black China. Rob versus Snoop Dogg. Rob versus T.I. Rob versus Charlamagne the God. Right. Every other thing. Rob versus. Rob, Rob, <laughs> Rob that ass. <laughs> We're gonna put a lot of memes in here, like that people made. Yes. And videos people made. I know J. Cole, you know this girl named J. Cole, she had, she was like Vine famous or whatever, she made like, she was mad that Black China um, used plastic surgery and not flat tummy tea, but she was advertising flat tummy tea and she was like, I want my coin. This video was dedicated to Black China, flat tummy tea, all that shit. I need my money, ho. Because yeah. I've been drinking uh, flat tummy tea like it's been pink Moscato. First of all, let's start off with the beginning of the story. Here comes 4th of July, right? 4th of July. And you know, Rob or whatever, he, you know, chilling, just mind his own business. He get a text message, you know? And it's Black China and some other nigga kissing. Just what? My family happy. I understand. And underneath the video, he she sends her she sends him a have a happy Fourth of July. And I don't see how she didn't expect some kind of reaction. Like, bitch, you arose their reaction from deep within this man's soul. You feel me? Whether or not y'all weren't together or y'all were together, it does not matter. I can understand that she probably was like maybe trying to get back at him. I don't know for what because obviously. Just a couple days before, he spent 25K on jewelry for her. Just jewelry that she showed. I'm gonna put the picture in here for you guys, but rings and bracelets, just a fucking diamond Rolex, like just buku ass jewelry. So that happened, and Rob went ahead and he started to expose the living fuck out of Black China. Bitch. It was Instagram picture after Instagram picture. I kept having to refresh because I didn't wanna miss no tea. But he goes on to talk about how um, uh, Black China is on drugs. She ordered a party pack uh, of cocaine and Molly and just buku alcohol and just all kind of crazy stuff. Saying that she has men in and out of the house and the bed they sleep in that they made dream in and that he wouldn't stand for her having men in and out of the house with his daughter there. So just really exposing this girl's life. And so boom, you guys. Boom. Here comes the naked picture. The picture. Here comes the naked picture. I'm gonna post them for you guys to see. Of course, I'm gonna, you know, blur everything out. It was pictures of her cootie cat, pictures of her titties, pictures of her ass, just all kind of pictures exposing this girl. And then he posted, you guys know how Black China said that, you know, she lost a lot of weight, she was getting on the scale. She never verbally said out of her mouth that she was doing a uh, weight loss program or she was dieting to lose weight. But she was promoting flat semi tea like always. And she was getting in on and off the scale as if she was losing weight. Also having workout videos, you know, kind of like she lost weight organically, but Rob exposed that ass once more and showed the video of her being rolled the fuck out. Surgery. Surgery. That tummy cut the fuck off to get them titties fixed the fuck up because honey, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure whenever you get surgery or whatever, you're not supposed to be eating like foreign things. You have to keep your stomach like clean, or drink water, eat vegetables, whatever. That's what I heard. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be eating no fat tummy tea. But anyways, like I feel like all this stuff was going on, right? Did you see Cam, Chloe, Kylie post anything about any of this? No. They were like, they were in a whole facade. I feel like they sent out a group text to each other, like don't say nothing about it. Just post stuff like nothing is wrong, all that kind of stuff. They 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 know what they're doing. Okay, so Rob also posted the guy, one of the alleged guys that who's not a legend anymore that Black China was sleeping with. And this alleged guy also 
also spent 135k worth of jewelry on her, but he revoked that shit. He pulled that shit back. Once all this transpired, he pulled all that shit back. And he was reaching out to Rob for help because he said that she had bills that were too expensive, he couldn't pay. He was trying to make some kind of money off of like some kind of show, reality show that can go on. You know, just reaching out for money because obviously like China's bills were not nothing that he could handle, which I could see, you know? And while all this was going on, like trying to post it up on Snapchat, you know, the Cardi B song in the background and her just showing off her jewelry. Like, bitch, I'm unbothered. She's on vacation look like, unbothered. While all this is going on, I'm having a mental fucking breakdown and this bitch can fuck with me if you wanted to. These expensive, these is red bottoms, these is bloody shoes. <laughs> song that was playing but you get the gist it was a Cardi B song any Cardi B song trying to shit on anybody to be honest so it could be anyone that she picked and is still shitting on Rob but anyways that happened and once the whole situation transpired of course everything kind of settled down once Rob Kardashian's Instagram got deleted because of the obscenities that he was posting on his page Ferrari was saying that the whole thing was just payback because supposedly Rob slid in his uh, baby mother's DMs, her name is Bonita, and was trying to talk to her. So Farrar was just trying to get back at Rob with this whole situation, which I don't believe because this yeah. has obviously been going on for more than enough time. You know, the niggas laying up in Rob's bed with Rob's robe on. You know, he's been saw with Black China a couple times with Rob that he's seen it before. So the, I don't believe it was payback. I believe that it was literal, like, he felt like he was trying to come up off of Black China and, of course, Rob. If anything, this is like a really, really, really bad publicity stunt for a show coming up really soon. Yeah. I guarantee you. Please. Don't be fooled, you guys. Don't sleep. That is not in there, you guys. It was Rob versus everybody. Snoop Dogg said, I'm going to post what he said in here. He said that Black China did what she was supposed to do. You a sucker. You got licked. That's your fault, you got play, it is what it is, nigga. She did what she was supposed to do. You knew she was in the beginning, and that's who she's always been. T.I. weighed in, which I don't feel like he has any room to weigh in on anybody's situation at this point, to be honest. Not that I hate T.I., but I mean, you got your own shit going on, so let's, let's be real. But he weighed in and said that, you know, basically the same thing, that Rob was some sucker shit, and that, you know, Black China just did what she was supposed to do. And Rob was like, honey, you paid my baby mother, you paid Black China to have a threesome with you and Tiny. So while you're trying to go in on me, how about you look at the man in the mirror? Yeah. And Charlamagne the God was called this man Rob the Blob and he came from Donkey of the Day today. It was just, you guys. T.I. said, Rob is wrong for exposing like all of China's business because whatever, whenever you're dating a woman, it don't matter what y'all go through, at the end of the day, Y'all tell each other really, really like intimate, close, private secrets that you should never reveal to anybody. I don't know, you let me know how you feel about this in the comment section below. I know it's kind of all over the place, but so many things have been like just running through my mind, running through my mind. And like all the time, to the point where I just wanna say, get on. Hey, ooh, bye, bye. you just don't know the way you move so fast across the floor. <laughs> So we're gonna just go ahead and let Rosari take the flow. Love is in the air for the celebrities. Love is in the air for the wonderful celebrities, okay? Not only Amber Rose, but, you know, Playboy Cardi, I hear, um, uh, Toilet, Toilet. Yeah, Toilet. Toilet. Um, and with Khalifa, I've seen some pictures, okay? So, Amber Rose, uh, is what I wanna talk about today. Amber Rose is with 21 Savage, and at first, I was like, okay, it's a romance! Every time I see a celebrity with another like celebrity that just like it don't match, I feel like it's a publicity stunt. I mean now I feel like it's not because I read what she said. She posted some pictures. Like for instance, Kylie and uh, Travis Scott. This shit is like like subliminal messages. Like we don't know like what's going on. You know, I see him at her concert, I see her at his concert, but she to like fall the fuck back. But anyways, we're gonna get into Kimber Rose. So um uh Amber Rose posted when he loves spoiling you. And you got your own money, so you spoil him instead. So to me, that was just like, okay, okay. So I keep scrolling. She says, it's pretty amazing waking up every morning and feeling in love like this. I've cried endlessly and been hurt a lot in my life. I've been abused, talked to like I wasn't shit. 
being gaslighted and slut shamed by men that I once loved and cared about. So I'm thankful to God that he brought this amazing person into my life who genuinely has my back and is ready to pull up and to defend my honor by any means. Maybe he's just as broken as me and maybe that's why we're perfect for each other. But either way, he's not going anywhere and either am I. This sounds real to me. It does what sound, sound real. Like it sounds real. I saw them, actually I saw them on the shade room, like TMZ had caught them walking to, I believe it was his car. The paparazzi was asking, you know, what happens if anybody tries to talk shit about and Rose, like they, they, it's gonna go down. But they, what you mean? Like they gonna pull up? Like it's gonna, it's gonna go down? I hope, I hope this is really genuine because I feel like in the back of my mind, I'm always thinking like, you know, there's always half and half. There's a good side and a bad side. Yeah. The good side is that okay, she finally found love with somebody that she loves, and he said, you know, he, she make him take his vitamins, like you know, drink water and stuff. That no holes, no disrespect. We're not gonna have no tolerate for that. Now the other side is the fact that. I see that Wiz Khalifa is also deeply, deeply in love over here on the other side of this other woman. Mm -hmm. Like, deep in love, y'all. Things like. that make you go. I never, I mean, when he was dating Amber, I seen pictures of her and him on his profile, but not like this right now. He's posting like little quotes, little love quotes. He's like, I love being around you. Like, he's putting all on his social media. Like, it's all out there. So I hope that Amber Rose is not like, I mean, I'm not, you know, it just is crazy. You know, they will pretend at the end of the day that they're in love just to match up with somebody else. Just for just for revenge, just to look like you're not lonely. Yeah, yeah. Just to look like you're not lonely, just to look like, okay, like, I'm not single, whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, I hope that's not the case. I just hope that they're both, like, you know, with the Because we all know, happy. um, Ambrose was obsessed with Will Sleeping yes, for a while. That's what I'm saying. Like, she I'm was saying obsessed with this nigga, let's be real. She yeah. really loved this nigga. Yeah. I was gonna say, she's in love, y'all. She really, really, I, I don't know if she's in love because they just got together for her and Savage, but they're heading for good times. Yeah. Kelsey? Um, bitch. What else you got? I love bitch. I got a farm deal. Yeah. Alright, guys. So, we're going to jump into the topic of Jocelyn Hernandez, the Puerto Rican princess, and wow. Kay Michelle, wow. honey. Kay Michelle and Jocelyn, they were both on the season of Love and Hip Hop Atlanta together, and they were reportedly close friends. Like, they were good friends. They would get along. They were in each other's houses, you know, well, Jocelyn was, like, was inside of K. Michelle's house. I ain't never seen Jocelyn's house like that. You know, they were really close. They they kissed on their lips. You know, they, they did the extras. They, they were with they were the shit. They kissed on their lips, bitch. Yeah. So, I didn't think that anything would happen between them to break up their friendship. But I don't know what I was thinking because knowing Jocelyn Hernandez, you can't have no friends, bitch. She has literally fell out with every single one of her friends and at some point you have to look at yourself in the mirror and be like, damn, maybe I'm the problem. And I thought that Jocelyn's crazy days were over when she had Bonnie Bella, but honey, obviously it's not. So K. Michelle posted a picture where she was um, with Mona Scott Young and a couple of other people, some from VH1, some of her friends, you know, they were sitting down. And I'm gonna post a picture for you guys to see. It was posted on Instagram. And right after that, Jocelyn comments under the picture, y'all gotta link up, lol, y'all know what's good, check yourself before you wreck yourself, with a whole bunch of emojis. So the conflict between Mona Scott Young and Jocelyn is that Jocelyn is leaving the show because she believes that Mona Scott Young is depicting her to be the bad guy in all situations. Just like um, on the upcoming reunion that's happening right now, Mona Scott Young played one of the old, old clips from like in the past where Jocelyn was at the reunion where she fought everybody. So she played that one and you know, it kind of made Jocelyn look like she was a crazy, enraged bitch again, you know? So Jocelyn didn't appreciate that and she is leaving Love & Hip Hop reportedly. But you know, leaving Love & Hip Hop, you don't, you never know, bitches really never leave. They leave for a moment, they go back on another season, be a whole new person, a whole new person. Show. They have their own show that don't work out. It fell, falls through and they go back to the hip hop. So, you know, you really just never leave with the hip hop. You just, after Jocelyn said that, honey, you know, K. Michelle, clap back queen. She don't let nothing slide. She lets nothing pass. She said, LOL, I didn't even do anything to you. I never spoke bad on your name, but let's go, Tyrone Biggums. And one more thing before I go, I was a great friend to you. And I even went and bought your 28 day crackhead challenge. Why are you mad? 
Jocelyn. I don't think you want to do this, Mama Sita. Oh, and my last piece of advice to you as a friend, hang that music up, drop the mic. With the mic emoji, the peace sign, and the, what I did. You know what I did, bitch. <laughs> Back, she also said, Jocelyn, stop hiding all your pounds of coke in the dressing rooms at the real. She, I thought that was a family show, at Jocelyn. <laughs> She said, at Jocelyn, you was the same bitch trying to turn my mansion into the trap house. Smelling coke in my bathroom. Bitch, give that nose a rest. Puerto Rican crackhead. I got some time before my meet and greet hoe. Chanel Zabinacor, all that cocaine you doing, you still manage to find the time to stick your nose in my business? You find time to cover me, but you can't comb that pretty little baby's hair? What a disgrace. Hashtag free Bonnie. She's going off at the mouth. That was not the end of that. Jocelyn then posted a video saying, what kind of mama are you? You never with your child. She didn't come out and say, hey, Michelle. She was just throwing subliminals to mothers who are never with their children. And she's trying to say that because, you know, we never really see Chase with Kay Michelle. Kay Michelle is kind of like on the road a lot. That's not saying that she's never with a child. We only see half of her life on, not even a real, not even the whole half on social media and her Kay Michelle My Life, you know? So she's kind of throwing slugs with that. Kay Michelle went and she posted something saying, I don't know how you breastfeed that baby while it crack, you snore, and just really going in. I'm gonna try to find the video for you guys, but Jocelyn, bitch, I think you lost this one. It's time for you to sit your ass down, okay? You can't go assuming that people are linking up to talk about your ass. You're not that big of a relevant, relevant part of people's lives for them to link up and have whole meetings about you, bitch. <laughs> Like, so we're gonna do it by Jocelyn. What we gonna do, y'all? Girl, I don't know. Jocelyn has got into it with so many people. She got into it with Jessica Dunn, called Carly Red, Tammy Rivera, Mimi. It's too late. She got into a prima donna who does the waist training. Stevie J, Kate Michelle, who like the producer. Her, her show. show. Yes, like everybody. Well, that must mean that she is the actual problem. And her friend now, um, Dawn. Her and Dawn, got, they hated her at one point, but now they're all of a sudden best friends. Hmm. I don't know, it just seemed real fishy to me. Like, let me know how you guys feel about Jocelyn and this whole K. Michelle drama, and who do you think won this beat? So y'all, now I'm gonna get into another part of Love Hip Hop New York. So, New York, as you all know, Miss Cardi B has blown up, okay? <laughs> Love and Hip Hop, I feel like, is a platform for people who are out of the spotlight and want to come into the spotlight to make their own personal spotlight, to get out there in the world, make albums, make success, do whatever, get out there. Uh, Cardi B did her job. She went on, she made a name for herself like she a real ass bitch, okay? She was saying like this, and she got some bomb music. So as you know, like I'm, I know y'all go to the club, y'all y'all bought music or whatever. You know her new hit, Bodak Yellow. And she got hit. some other hits. Honey, mm -hmm. Bodak Yellow is the hit, bitch. But yeah, Bodak Yellow is the hit right now. And like before, it was like, uh, what was it? Lick. Looking it like lick. I caught a lick. Looking like I caught a lick. I like her a lot. I feel like being real in this industry is really hard for some people. And. Uh, She's doing it well. And it's funny because on the show, mm -hmm. nobody really wanted to help her. They didn't want to see her as an as an artist. They didn't want they to see like her. Make it. They felt like she couldn't make it, that she wasn't articulate enough, that she couldn't speak clear enough English. Her teeth was fucked up. You know, she was crazy. They saw her as a joke, really. And so for her to like come out on the other side and be like, all you bitches who were downing me, downplaying my music, my talents, look at you pose now. Like, look at all y'all now. She don't dance no more. She make money moves. She was on BET, bitch. It's not all artists don't be on BET. She like making money moves. I see none of these other no. rappers who was on the Hollywood are nominated so, or nothing. New York nominated or they are for sure not performing. So I give her a round of applause. Like, party round of applause. You went from, you really went from being broke to being a stripper to being a reality TV star to now being an actual artist who people look up to. Bitch, you did it. Nigga, you made it and I'm proud. Anybody who's making it out of the hood, bitch, I'm proud. I am having my way. messy monday this week we hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and give us two hearts like subscribe if you have not already and we'll see you guys in our next